Okay, the table below lists the function, okay? x, negative 4, negative 2, 6, 8. Now this h of x, it's called function notation. Guys, function notation just means y, okay? That's all that is, is a glorified y, okay? So I need to write in a linear function that represents the table, okay? So x is negative 4, and then input's negative 4, the output of the function's 13. The input of the function's negative 2, the output is 7. The input is 6, the output's negative 17. The input's 8, the output's negative 23. Writing a linear function is the same as writing a linear equation based on the table. Okay, We're going to write it in the form of y equals mx plus b. Okay. And we have to find the m, and we have to find the b. So to find the m, remember m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. Okay. Now slope is y minus y, x minus x. Okay. So what I do then is simply pick any two points on the table. Okay. I'll pick negative 2, 7, and I'll just go with the one below it. Okay. That's all we're going to do. So minus minus so start with your higher x we'll put 6 and the negative 17 would go over the top of it the negative 2 and the 7 would go over the top of that okay so negative 17 minus 7 is negative 24 plus plus on bottom and that's 8 negative 24 divided by 8 is negative 3 now this is how you find the y-intercept okay if you have an x of 0, you actually know the y-intercept just by looking at it, but we don't have an x of 0. So to find the y-intercept, we're going to use y equals m times x plus b. Okay, so we know the m. We know the m is negative 3. Then for y and x, I pick one of these two points. It doesn't matter which one. I will pick 7 for y and negative 2 for x. Okay. You could also go with, you can go with anything on this table, okay? So 7 equals, we're going to go B plus, negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. Then I subtract 6 from each side, and 1 is equal to B. Now, the last thing you need to do is go up here. Don't put equals, sorry, that's stupid. Instead of Y, you need to write this stupid H parentheses X and then negative 3x plus 1, okay? That's how they want it written, okay? You can test your answer if you pick any number. Let's pick 8. Let's put negative 3, and then let's substitute 8 in for x. So negative 3 times 8 plus 1. That's my input putting 8 into the function. When I click equals, the output should be negative 23, and it is, okay? So that's correct. Okay, next one. Table lists a function. Remember, f of x is just another funky imaginary thing for y. It's called function notation. Write it in linear notation by just putting y. We'll bring back the fun the stupid function notation at the end. Okay, linear function for the table. Okay, so when I put x into negative 3 into input negative 3 needs to lead to an output of negative 7. Input a negative 1 needs to lead to an output of positive 1. Input of 5 leads to an output of 25. Input of 6, output of 29. Okay. So y equals m times x plus b. So I have to find the m and the b. M is the slope and b is the y-intercept, okay? The slope is the rate of change of the function, okay? It's what the y's change by over what the x's change by and then divided. So that is why it is expressed as y minus y, x minus x. So I pick any points on the table. I'll go with, it doesn't matter which one. I'll go with these two, what the heck, okay? So I will start with my higher x value, 6, and put 29 over it. And then my lower, negative 1, and put 1 over it. So that is 28, 
6 minus negative 1 is 7 because it's the same as 6 plus 1. Divide that, we get 4. So the slope, the rate of change is 4. So B, Y equals M times X plus B. Okay, so my M I know is 4. Now for the Y and X, let's pick 29 for Y and 6 for X. Or you can, let's go 5, 25. It doesn't matter. You can pick any one of the 4, okay? So 25 is equal to B, and then 4 times 5 is 20. Then you minus 20 from each side. 5 is equal to B. Now, up here, turn that y back into f of x. 4x plus 5. Okay. Now, let's go, let's go 4 times, and let's put negative 3, and then plus 5. That should be negative 7, it is. Now, click up, now put negative 1 in. That's 1, okay? Now you got to reset the calculator. 4 times, put this 5 in for x and add 5. 25. 4 times 6 plus 5, and that's 29. So that is correct. Okay, same thing here. h of x, just replace it with y. We'll put h of x up here later. Okay, it'll just... So y equal blank x plus blank, so m, b. That's how to write a linear function, okay? So y minus y, x minus x. Okay, so I will pick, I'll pick the first and the third. It doesn't matter which ones you pick. I would recommend starting with the higher x, so 2, 12 over it. Negative 4. Negative 6. 12 minus negative 6 is 18, because really that's 12 plus 6. 2 minus negative 4 is 6, and that equals 3. So the rate of change is 3. The slope is 3. So B, Y equals M times X plus B. So we have 3 for the M, and I'll use 27 and 7. It doesn't matter what you pick for X and Y, but they have to be in a pair. Okay, you can't pick 27 and negative 1. That's not going to work. 21, then I will minus 21 from each side, and I get 6. 6 equals B. Okay, so H of X equals 3X plus 6. Now, if you want to check it, punch in 3 times. Let's put negative 4 in for X plus 6. So the input of negative 4 gives me the output of negative 6. Input of negative 1 gives me the output of 3. Input of 2 gives me the output of 12. Input 7 gives me the output 27.